Hi everyone, welcome to Molly's Storytime. Today's story is The Tale of Jemima Puddleduck by Beatrix Potter. Poor Jemima Puddleduck. All she wanted was a quiet place she could hatch her eggs peacefully. In the end, she became quite desperate and decided to look for a suitable spot away from the busy farmyard. So one afternoon, dressed in a shawl and bonnet, Jemima left the farm behind and set off along the road. At the top of the hill, she saw wood in the distance. It looked like a safe, quiet spot. Down the hill Jemima ran, flapping a shawl and then jumped up into the air. She glided over the treetops. Soon she saw an open space in the middle of the wood where all the trees had been cleared. Jemima landed and looked around. She was surprised to see a gentleman sitting on a tree stump reading a newspaper. Have you lost your way? he asked. Jemima explained that she was looking for somewhere to nest. Really? said the gentleman with pointy ears and a bushy tail. I have a sack full of feathers in my woodshed. You may sit there as long as you like. He led Jemima to a ramshackle house and showed her the shed. The shed was comfortable and Jemima made her nest very easily. The gentleman promised to take care of it. He said he would be very proud to see a nest full of ducklings in his woodshed. Jemima promised to come back every day. Jemima Puddle Duck laid nine eggs, which the foxy gentleman liked to look at and count when she wasn't there. One day he suggested they have dinner together and asked Jemima to bring some herbs and vegetables from the farm. Jemima did not know the hairs were used for stuffing roast duck. Luckily, the farm dog kept saw her with some onions. He listened to Jemima's story and then trotted off to the village to find two foxhound puppies that he knew. Jemima made her way back to the wood, carrying the herbs and onions in a bag. The gentleman was waiting for her. He spoke to her quite rudely. Go and look at your eggs and then come straight into my house, he barked. A moment later, Jemima heard pattering feet outside the shed, followed by an awful noise, barking and squealing. Kep opened the door of the shed and let poor Jemima out. The foxy gentleman was never seen again. In June, Jemima laid some more eggs, this time in the busy farmyard. She sat on the eggs patiently and waited. Eventually they hatched and Jemima was delighted to have four fluffy yellow ducklings that were all her own. If you liked this story, Please click the like button below and if you want to hear more stories, please subscribe to my channel.